welcome back to Fast Track here in Prague. Now we'll be exploring more of the city in just a moment, but first let's just jump continents. And it's probably fair to say that despite its long history of medicine, India is probably not the first place that many foreigners would think of to head to for medical treatment. However, the state of Karnataka thinks that perception is unfair and is hoping to attract tourists with its expertise in both old and new therapies. Here's Chan and Biavaga. Undergoing heart surgery is not how most of us would wish to spend our holidays, but Bangalore's tourism office hopes that at least some of us will. Viewers who do not wish to see this operation should look away now. In this operation, a bypass is not done, and the heart continues to beat throughout the procedure. It requires much experience and nerve, but Dr. Devananda has a 100% success rate. You may the latest thing in technology the state of the art, it is available in any modality you take. Whether it is in imaging or whether it is in therapeutic, the people trained in all these modalities. Bangalore's many ultramodern hospitals are trying to attract foreign clients. The idea is that you can come to India for a holiday and a full medical checkup, and if necessary, undergo treatment at a sixth of the cost in the West. India has an image problem when it comes to health care and Manipal Hospital is a little down at healing places. But the figures speak for themselves. In intensive care, the survival rate as a worldwide average is 25% and here in Manipal, it's double that at 53. India still has some major public health problems and it may seem wrong that the expertise of Indian doctors should go towards treating wealthy foreigners instead. But the staff at the Manipal perhaps do more unpaid work for the poor than their Western counterparts. The six-year-old boy was born with his heart on the wrong side and only half the normal number of chambers and a faulty valve. Dr. Devananda did a reversal operation. Because this child comes from a very poor background, the parents could afford only probably around $200. Uh, normally the surgery would cost here around $2,000. We raised the funds with the help of some donors and uh, hospital living of the professional charm and I don't charge anything for this child. We do this type of service for the poor patient. This is India's largest intensive care unit for premature babies and the managers here hope that their spare capacity will be taken up by the overstretched public health services in countries like the UK. We are, we are interested in a dialogue with these uh, organizations like NHS. Instead of patients going all the way from you know, London to countries like South Africa, some other place, they can look at coming to India. And our standards are on par with the best in the world. So far, it's not to the modern hospitals, but to the rather more attractive setting of the holistic health farms that foreigners are flocking. India's ancient holistic approach to the body's welfare has turned feeling good into a science. 50% of the clientele at the Saukia Centre in Bangalore travel thousands of miles for the traditional therapies on offer. We have people from Spain, Switzerland, UK. We have people from Japan, from Australia. Even a lot of people come from the US. Basically, it's we want to promote their health, you know, get them into a lifestyle modification, which once they understand, then they automatically change their lifestyle if they want to, you know, help their condition. There is, of course, the odd worm in every Eden, and being covered in mud and baked in the sun is perhaps not everyone's idea of a good time. <laughs> Every form of alternative medicine is on offer at the Saukia Centre. Ayurvedic, homeopathic, naturopathic and yogic medicine, as well as acupuncture, colonic irrigation and reflexology. Since I arrived, I, I feel a hundred times better than when I did arrive. When I try to picture myself back in Dubai, for example, I can't believe it's the same person. You know, it just doesn't compare. Janet Alfar is an expatriate Englishwoman who lives in Dubai. 
She says it's not just the various treatments that are helping her to feel well, but also the chance to get away from it all. You need time by yourself occasionally to reflect and if you want to make changes in your life. When you're surrounded by those things, um, you can't necessarily make the change. You need to get away in order to do that. We have uh, cured conditions of irritable bowel syndrome, of uh, hypertension, totally. We brought BP down to normal, fibromyalgia, and the chronic fatigue. We totally cured these conditions. And if you prefer conventional medicine, there's still no reason why you shouldn't come here for your rest and recuperation. A little of this would make anyone feel better. Sham and Vivaga there reporting. Well, that about wraps up another edition of Fast Track. Now, if you have any travel queries, why not email us at fasttracktravel at bbc.co.uk. And next week we'll be in Berlin for the world's largest travel market. But until then, from me, Akhtar Khan and the rest of the team here in Prague, goodbye and happy travelling.